Wait, what? What just happened? Rewind that back. <laughs> Dedication to one of the illest to ever do it, illest to ever rock the floor. The incredible b-boy Maurizio, the next one straight out of Italy. Focus, focus. Welcome to the Knowledge Drop. This is Focus at the Flow Mo Crew, bboydojo.com and Cypher Studio. Another dedication Knowledge Drop. There's only a few who carry the torch for decades and Maurizio, the next one, is definitely one of them. Next generation better do their research and recognize. I met Maurizio relatively late in 2006 when he was judging the Hip Hop Session Festival in France and we battled. The energy between the crew and Maurizio clicked right away. And the next thing we know, he got a chance to flow up, fly out the whole crew to Sicily, to his motherland, uh, to perform in a jazz festival. Suddenly, we're there on the stage performing with Maurizio, who we grew up watching and looking up to, and the great Roy Ayers. The Mediterranean sea breeze blowing through the stage and volcano Etna erupting on the back. What? On that trip, I asked Maori, how did he practice as a young b-boy coming up? He had a simple answer to it. Eight hours a day, every day. And I guess that vision, the dedication to that vision, and the enormous workload made his flow so incredible. That way, Maurizio managed to combine the qualities of the people that he looked up to as a young b-boy in a way that nobody had ever done before. He saw the funk and the flavor of Crazy Legs and the dynamic and the momentum of Icy Ice and the combination of these qualities became to be known as what he calls the space flow. A cosmic expression of timeless b-boying. The space flow stamped Italy on the b-boy map to be inspired by thousands of b-boys worldwide. And the track record is undeniable. Double trouble with Ken Swift. Jam on the Groove, the first hip-hop musical world tour and even the Nike Freestyle classic commercials. And where his contribution as a breaker speaks volumes, he didn't just limit there. He could have just kicked his feet up and chill because he paid his dues early, but nah. He became an amazing DJ and a producer. Beats for Life became a household name. And if you ever visit it, you know that the studio walls are covered with tens of thousands of vinyl records. As far as breakers globally, that has to be the most impressive collection of music. Dedication and skills in producing led him to work closely with Primo and eventually become part of the Gangsta Foundation as well. And if you've ever seen him spin an after party with his own beats or his 45 collection, you notice that the quality is unmatched. That deep connection with the music speaks on all of his platforms of expression. But besides the movement of space flow, besides the deepness of the vinyl collection, if you see Maori Rock, the most present aspect is feeling. On top of his skills, there's feeling and emotion. That feeling that makes you forget that you exist and makes you get lost in music. And mastering technique, taking the technique to a whole new level and eventually forgetting the technique and just letting go is what really this dance is about on the deepest levels of mastery. And because of this, if I had to name one person who embodies the energy of hip hop, that would have to be Maurizio, the next one, the incredible b-boy. Next generation, make notes. Focus signing out with the knowledge drop. Head out to bboydojo.com right now for more free inspiration and knowledge. Peace, stay safe.